you have access to one by one tiles which come in four different colors and one by two tiles which come in five different colors. We want to figure out how many different one by n path designs we can make out of these tiles. For part a, we're asked to find a recursive definition of the number of paths of length n. Each path of length n must either start with one of the four one by one tiles, in which case there are then a sub n minus one ways to finish the path, or start with one of the five one by two tiles, in which case there are then a sub n minus two ways to finish the path. This gives a recurrence relation, a sub n equals four times a sub n minus one, plus five times a sub n minus two, where again four is a number of different one by one tiles, and five is a number of different one by two tiles. To finish the recursive definition though, we also need to determine the initial conditions, which in this case are a sub one and a sub two. A sub one represents a number of different one by one path designs, and since there are four ways to select the color of the one by one tile, a sub one equals four. A sub two is a number of different one by two path designs, and there are five ways to select a one by two tile, or if you select two one by one tiles, there are four ways to select each tile, which gives a total of five plus four times four, or 21 different path designs for a one by two path, a sub two equals 21. So now we can finish the recursive definition by stating the recurrence relation with a sub one equals four and a sub two equals 21. Part B, we're asked to write out the first six terms of the sequence. We just found a sub one and a sub two. We can find the remaining terms using the recursive definition, but let's also discuss how we would determine a sub three. So here's a sub one again and a sub two. a sub three represents the number of different one by three path designs that can be made from the tiles. And there are three cases to consider. First, you select three one by one tiles this can be done four times four times four, 64 ways, or you can select one one by one tile and then one one by two tile. This can be done in four times five ways or 20 ways, or you could select one one by two tile and then one one by one tile, which can be done five times four or 20 ways, which gives a total of 104 ways. A sub three equals 104. And we can verify this below by using the recursive definition. And those have also listed a sub four, a sub five, and a sub six. You may want to pause the video and just verify these are correct. The first six terms of the sequence are four, 21, 104, 521, 2,604, 13,201. And then for the last part of the question, we're asked to solve the recurrence relation, which means you want to find a closed formula for a sub n. To do this, we'll use the characteristic root technique so the first step is to rewrite the recurrence relation in the form of a sub n plus alpha times a sub n minus one plus beta times a sub n minus two equals zero, which basically means we need to set the equation equal to zero by subtracting four times a sub n minus one and subtracting five times a sub n minus two from both sides of the equation. From here, notice that alpha is equal to negative four and beta is equal to negative five this indicates the characteristic equation is x squared minus four x minus five equals zero. And now we need to solve this equation, which we can see below is factorable. The solutions are x equals five and x equals negative one. Because the characteristic equation has two distinct solutions, or we can say the characteristic polynomial has two distinct roots, the closed formula will be in the form of a sub n equals a times the nth power of r sub one plus b times the nth power of r sub two, where r sub one is equal to five and r sub two is equal to negative one, which gives a general solution of the form a sub n equals a times the nth power of five plus b times the nth power of negative one. From here, we need to use the initial conditions, a sub one equals four and a sub two equals 21 to determine the values of a and b. Let's do this on the next slide. When determining a sub one, n is equal to one, which gives us a sub one equals a times the first power of five plus b times the first power of negative one equals a sub one, which is four. Simplifying, we have the equation five a minus b equals four. When determining a sub two, n is two, which gives us 
a times the square of 5 plus b times the square of negative 1 equals 21. Simplifying, we have the equation 25a plus b equals 21. From here, we need to solve this system of equations. And there's a variety of ways to do this. When solving the system, we get a equals 5 6 and b equals 1 6. And now we substitute these values into the form of the general solution, which gives us a sub n equals 5 6 times the nth power of 5 plus 1 6 times the nth power of negative 1. This is the solution to the recurrence relation. You may just want to pause the video and verify this does generate the terms of the given sequence. I hope you found this helpful.